Hey guys, what is going on with the volcanoes in Italy? I just finished my video about Campi Flegri, about the landslide, about that massive earthquake swarm that is underway with a magnitude 4 earthquake. And while I was doing this video, boof, Stromboli is erupting again. So I can't believe it. So I'll just have to take care of these guys and then I'll tell you more. So that's basically once I'm inside right now. So Stromboli, that is basically an island and the whole island is a volcano and there is some settlements, roughly 4,800 people, but in the summer it's occupied by more people, roughly 1,500 people at a time because there's tourists on the island. And Stromboli has been acting up the recent weeks like one explosion after the other and all like that they said something they have never seen before. And what just happened at Stromboli is something like that again. So it was a mega explosion, how they call it, a large explosion that did send down glowing lava and ash several hundred meters above the summit. So a big, big ash cloud again. The whole thing happened at night this time, but what they definitely can say, because they also have the thermal images, it is a larger than average explosion again on Stromboli. There's already good documentation and information out there, and I will go through that with you guys and I'll also show you the video of what happened because it's very very impressive. So what does the INGV report? INGV, the Italian Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, they are the ones that are monitoring Stromboli and they have their seismic instruments there that are probably damaged again right now. I can show you pictures how they looked after the last event at Stromboli. They were covered in mud. The solar panels were cracked. Rocks hit the solar panels. So these explosions that are happening they're sending out a lot of debris and rocks that are so fast and that if they hit you they can be really really devastating one guy lost his life in 2019 when he was climbing up on the crater and then an explosion like this happened so what are they saying um italian local time at 7 46 p.m um the INGV has given their volcanic activity statement. So they're saying that at 7.16, they have seen through their surveillance cameras that there was a major explosion. And you see the thermal images here. You see one image um, basically at 7.17 p.m. You see how everything is coming out, how it's hot. That's the thermal image. And it did not last too long. You see basically half an hour later at 7.48 p.m. It looks like it's slowing down, but you see the lava did slide again down the slide of fire at Stromboli into the sea. So I show you here how this looked at the last explosion when there was daytime. So something similar happened again. It was just nighttime this time. So what are they saying from a seismic point of view? Their analysis of the seismograms highlights at 7.15 the presence of a seismic transient, an event that did last about three minutes relative to the larger explosion. There was a second explosion. I'll get to that. So they said the average magnitude of the volcanic tremor showed a sudden increase at 7 p.m. So not much warning time, right? If you watch my channel, we're always looking at the warning time, especially in Iceland. They have to evacuate tourist attractions and towns. So here, really not watch warning time. So if you're up there on the slope, it's a problem, but there was nobody there, I assume, because it's been nighttime and they've been careful in the recent days and weeks because of this activity out of the norm that Stromboli is producing there. So at seven o'clock, the seismic activity was getting values from medium to very high. So if there is a cluster of earthquakes that all of a sudden one after the other, boom, boom, boom. That shows magmas on the move most likely. And it is an indicator that something is about to happen. 
And they said at around 7.30 p.m., the magnitudes of these seismic events did return to median values, so they did slow down. And also, they say they have signals from soil deformation monitoring networks. They do not show a significant variation, so nothing did swell or subside. The crater didn't swell or subside significantly when this happened. But, you know, if you look at the thermal image, it's shooting out there quite impressive. And that's what they are saying. But there is another institution that has measuring instruments up there and that is monitoring Stromboli. And they really caught it very, very well with their camera. So from them is the video. I'll show it to you again. You can see how it shoots up in the air so they're also calling it a major stromboli volcanic eruption at 7 15 9 15 local time at 9 15 local time we have to say 7 15 is the utc time so the local time at stromboli is 9 15 so it was really dark in the evening so 7 15 utc and 9 15 local time so the network of the laboratory of experimental geophysics lgs their monitoring network has also given them an alarm and they said they were two explosive events in a rapid sequence above the norm and they have a graphic that they want to show us where we can see it so here you see the seismic events and the stromboli seismic acoustic network at their station that they have there. So this shows the abnormality here in red, right? These are these the seismic events. You see the first one is super, super strong. And then after that, it keeps these other two higher clusters, but then it gradually keeps dying down. So they say they have registered a soil deformation of about 1.89 micro radians. Um, they said the explosions, both of them have affected the northeast crater of Strongly and the southwest crater. And they have generated a maximum infrasonic pressure of 13.45 PA. So they say because of that, you see a picture before we go any further, you see a picture here where the northeastern crater is located and where the southwestern crater is located. And then because of these data that they have gathered, they can say this event is compatible with a major explosive event. And they have this interesting graph here that basically shows you what is considered a major event. So we went through that in my last video. But what is a tilt amplitude that you see on the left side? You need to know about that figure so to enable to understand what they're trying to tell us with this figure. So the tilt amplitude of a volcano refers to the measure of ground deformation around a volcano, indicating the angle or degree of tilt of the ground surface. So this is typically um, measured by using highly sensitive instruments, they're called tilt meters. So they detect minute changes in the slope of the ground. So they had these measuring instruments, that's why they were able to do that. The tilt amplitude provides critical information about volcanic activity, guys, because it often these swellings, these rises, reflects the movement of magma underneath, beneath the surface. So if there is something, if there's a land rise or something, we know that magma is trying to rise to the surface. So the tilt amplitude, and that's what you see here in this graph, quantifies how much the ground has tilted, and it's typically measured in micro radians. For example, a tilt amplitude of 10 micro radians 
means the ground has tilted 10 micrometers per meter of horizontal distance. It is an indication of magma movement. So if we have an increasing tilt amplitude, it often indicates that the magma is moving towards the surface, causing the ground to swell and tilt. So this is most likely a precursor to a potential eruption. So that's why with critical volcanoes, they have to measure the tilt amplitude so that they maybe have a slight chance to predict potential eruptions and of course the risk for the areas that surround these volcanoes. And then in the graph we have the VLP amplitude. So this is a measure of the energy that is released by the event. So higher amplitudes typically indicate more significant or energetic volcanic processes. So now if you look at the red dots in this graph, you can see the number 2019. That was the violent eruption where the hiker sadly lost his life. And then while well, they kind of mix this so that we can hardly see it. So July 11th, that when we had another one of these events, and now we have two more of these events, basically July 26th. So you see the yellow star, that's where the event that happened today is located. So it's not in the red area where we had the other July um, explosions, but it is in the higher area that's for sure so it's above the norm the norm would be all the gray stuff basically and then they're showing us four pictures of their surveillance cameras and uh, they're saying material that has been emitted has spilled into the schiara del fuoco the slide of fire and in the direction downwards so that's what these pictures are showing us and they have it dated. So you see how small it starts at 7.15, then you see it's coming up at 7.16 and then seven seconds later we have that full explosion, looks impressive. And then only a few seconds later you see it's all dark because of all the ash and stone and rocks that comes out with it. So it was for sure impressive what Stromboli has done there again and Stromboli keeps doing it. So everywhere in Italy, I have a feeling it's rumbling. I mean, check out my video that I just released about Campi Fligri. I mean, the, basically there's an earthquake swarm underway as we speak with the highest quake in the range of magnitude four, which is significant. And it could be felt in widespread areas. There was a landslide that almost hit swimmers in the water. So interesting stuff, check that out. I mean, Edna is rumbling around, spewing stuff out, but Stromboli, hey, wow, right? It's out of the ordinary. Guys, I will keep you updated. If there's more information available, what it's doing during daylight in Italy, I will let you know for sure so that you can be on the pulse with Silky. So so guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please leave it a like. If you're new here, please subscribe. I want to say thank you for all the coffees you keep sending me to keep me awake so that I can do these all-nighters for you guys with these volcanoes. It's really, really crazy. These guys think I'm crazy too because I come at weird times now to fill their water and to check out them. Last night, 6 a.m., I checked on them. Then I went to sleep because, uh, yeah, like I said, the earthquake swarm kept me busy. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you soon. I hope to see more of you soon and uh, stay safe. Bye bye.